It's a tiger! It's a tiger! I see him in the video. Oh my god. A goose, yep. Yeah. Okay, valid. I hate gooses. Oh, they do be a fresh out. Here's the definition, and here's the definition, but in picture. And if it's not clear yeah. now, it will be by the end of this video. <laughs> Crash outs exist in all walks of life, you know what they oh, say. Yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way for a Chris to get rocked by a fresh prince flick of the wrist. That's but crazy. today, we're gonna talk about the biggest crash outs in nature, and there's a lot to choose from, so some had to Damn. Go. I won't be talking about hippos, honey badgers, or cape buffalo. We were wrong. Okay. But technically it is. Yeah, but technically, he knew to leave him out yeah. because, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I've said my piece on this roid raging homicidal hydro horse on steroids. Hey, listen, I don't, I, listen, to this day, I know not to play with nobody hippo, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about no, none of that. Black I ain't never mess with hair like that. He will for you, boy. You know, one of those funny. You saw that gorilla earlier? Mm -hmm. I was going to make a mic joke. I left it alone. I actively chose to leave it alone. You see how much of a better friend I am? Next time, don't leave it alone, man. You know what I'm saying? You just, you know what you gotta do. Come on. It's a it good, right? It's my, it's no. I ain't have them. I, I, you I opened it. I didn't even taste it. I got a deal for you. There's a, there's, there's a sour salt left at the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. You take this. I, I can't roast you for the rest of the day. Or I owe you whatever you want. Whatever? So you got you got you got to determine what that is right now. What I want? A thousand dollars. <laughs> Open up. Mm. 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 Oh my god. Oh. Just take it, bro. You got a little bit. You got, you got a lot of bit, actually. You might as well just hit yourself right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that count as taking? Yeah, you took it. You know what I'm saying? Take that, take that. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. Take that, take that. I know that nigga not tongue tingling, <laughs> boy. <laughs> And lying horse on steroids. What the hell is that? Because know, black death is a hunter's nightmare for humans and lions alike. Oh yeah, it was a baby lion. Yeah, they they mm -hmm. was they was slaughtering that motherfucker. Biracial black Air Force hate mongering Hufflepuff. Ooh. Oh. But what I will talk about are rhinos. Ah. I've said that rhinos oh, are legally he blind. Yeah, they are they they blind. Tanks that'll buck up to anything yeah, he's from a butterfly than the car. to a buffalo. Except He's I was wrong. Recent studies show that the eyesight of rhinos might not even be that bad. It's what? just their attitude. Which means oh. that rhino fully punted a warthog purposely oh. and unprovoked. While this one received an assault on eight wheels and still went for a literal headshot. There's a reason why a group of rhinos is an honest to god crash. But they're not even the biggest crash outs in Africa. That would be elephants. Yeah, like, really? literally, they're the biggest. Whoever yeah. made this up actively helped escort. You don't remember that that elephant that tracked that lady down? I thought that was just revenge. I didn't know it was a crash out moment. Yeah, crash out. Bro, he killed her. Came back weeks later, found At her funeral, and got her again out the casket. That's crazy. Uh, not, what People does she do? Wait, sense. hold on. What does it say though? Elephant brain reacts to humans the way same way that human, human brains, brains react, react to. to they think. Oh. Yeah. So for that elephant to do that to that, she he that, that elephant really hated that lady. Bro. Yeah, that was that yeah. was that was amazing. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying though is we going to Thailand and uh we going to Elephant Sanctuary. Thoughts? I'm not going. Wait, when the hell? Who said that? Why not? Who said? Y'all want to go see? I mean, elephants? I I go, but I'm so when the hell do we make this decision? I'm terrified of elephants. Really? I'm afraid of anything that can kill me. <laughs> <laughs> anything that can crash out, bro. Yeah, that's why I won't go to the open zoos. Really? The ones where you drive, drive through the car, yeah, and feed them. Mm. Oh, you pussy! Oh, we going to the elephants? Yeah, we going to see elephants. That's all it took, chat. A little bit of gaslight. Like Which they don't need help doing since elephants flatlined over six hundred people last year. Damn! Elephants, elephants hit. Why are you doing like that? that? Must is when a sudden burst of hormones turns elephants into 12,000 pound drunk lust oh, and frat boys. Yep. The word must even comes from the word intoxicated and a down bad oh. bull's testosterone levels can spike yeah, 60 be horny. times higher than normal. 
And that's where the crash out comes in. No Bro, animal is safe from an entire. Have you ever seen that video where the elephant walked past and then shit just. Yeah. Oh, it was slanging the bag Man. Oh, yeah, I had it a me. Them mugs got weapons of mass destruction on them, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I hate to bring it there, bro. If they swing like that, boy, a whale gotta be crazy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. A whale gotta be insane. Absolute man. Shit, Ejection. man. Not even baby elephants. Eating a oh toilet because his mom will leave you. Crash out. But the real oh. degeneracy didn't show itself until humans got involved. Yeah, it's, it's that kind of story. Poaching is evil, we all know it, and yeah. it's often the older, more mature bulls That's that can hit crazy. the hardest That's for a lot obvious of reasons. What wasn't expected was removing elephant OGs from the population meant that the younger, immature teenage bulls and must got even more out of pocket. Ooh. And what do you get when you have unruly six-ton pests with no father figure to keep them in line? Mm -hmm. eh, know. There was a period oh, in the- Is that a rhino? It was trying to fuck a rhino? It wasn't trying. It, it was. was. Pests with no father figure to keep them in line? Eh. Hell if I know. There was a period in the 90s where three young bulls. Okay. Editor, cut this out. You're to keep them in line? Eh. Get off my woman, man. <laughs> Please, bro. Get off her, man. Come on, bro. I gotta get there. Go. You were too big to be fucking that little ass dog. Hell if I know. There was a period in the 90s where three young bulls that got rejected by their own kind, resorting to violating and killing not one, not two, not ten, but 63 rhinos. Fatherless behavior for an oh elephant apparently means turning a rhino from a tight end to a whiteout, and it wasn't oh until the season God. more mature bulls were brought back in that the rhino ravaging eventually stopped. And it's oh not just males God. that can choose violence. We can't forget that time an elephant traveled across India just to mm -hmm. life deprive a 70 year old senior citizen while she was getting water. For context, mm -hmm. that elephant oh escaped from the Dalma Wildlife Sanctuary oh, and traveled over 100 miles to the Rappe village in Odisha. Being homicidal for over 100 miles straight is already menaced that behavior. Is insane. What solidified it was that same herd pulling up to that woman's funeral later that day and paying everything but respects. And that same elephant grabbed her soul evacuated 0 HP body and proceeded to put her in the negatives. Basically, oh she got put God. on the shirt except the shirt was reversible. And after death Desecrating Jesus her corpse, dessert was destroying the woman's house along with several others. Oh my many god! Many the woman Maya Murmu had it coming and was involved in poaching, and this was a case of an elephant not forgetting or forgiving. It also could have been someone's grandmother getting murked twice and memed on Twitter all because of RNG. We'll never know yeah. the why, but what we do know is my favorite ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna uh, think about it. I'm gonna uh, think about it. Oprah. Now, why did you go back to that woman's funeral? Well, Oprah, <laughs> that bitch really had it coming. I don't think one was good enough. <laughs> I, I had to slide for my cousin. You ever heard the saying, you know I got to double it? I had to double it. I didn't know he destroyed a house too. Yeah, that is crazy. crazy. That's insane. Animal That's is capable of crash outs of catastrophic proportions. And now we got the Bro. smallest crash out in the world. When a colony of Kalabops' Saunders sea ants gets attacked, some of those soldiers mm -hmm. will rupture two huge poison filled glands and literally blow themselves up. They don't what? just cook with themselves, they also rain a toxic, corrosive glue that either traps oh the op ants in place or just burns them alive. It's oh self-sacrificing altruistic behavior meant to defend the colony, but that is one hell of an escalation. That one is. species of termite also has a concept of kamikaze themselves, and they have toxic glands that actually grow as they get older. That means the same old worker termites with dull mandibles that can't fight or forge as well as their juniors also carry the most potent, explosive backpacks yeah. in the colony. So their last act of service involves eviscerating themselves in a Rain of internal organs, intestines, and toxins, here. which proves that the most dangerous crash out is oh, the one with nothing it. left to lose. He held on. Him. That's like breaking into a house, and the last thing you see is a senile 90 year old rushing you with a bomb strap to their chest. But the wildest crash out might oh be what P efforts do when a predator to breaks into their home. Oh, my God, that nigga walked right past you. You can't just, you had to be quiet. Realistically, he knew you was there. That's the crazy part. Mm -hmm. Realistically, a nigga with senses that he knew he was there. He just let you make it. He, oh, Fence God. He, yeah. Not only will soldiers come together and turn themselves into fleshy fireworks, they'll use their own bodily fluids to plug up the opening. Even if it means they get left outside in past tense. Even if it means they suffocate on their own insides. And mm -hmm. even if the process senses subtracts them instantly. It's one thing wow. to self-destruct the backpedal of Predator or even after already being eaten, which aphids actually do. Using Flex Seal made out of your own guts for home repair is exactly the type of behavior this video is about. 
But if elephants violating the natural order didn't already tell you, the worst crash outs are the ones humans created. And this black Air Force B is the result uh, of one of the biggest oopsies in that's human That's a history. fucking B! Bro, that look like a wasp. That man, that looked like a demon. That look like muscles. <laughs> bro, I'll never forget. That look like bro. fucking quads on that bitch. Bro, that boy that never missed leg day. Oh, God. I lie, bro. I'll never forget. They lived in the hood. Mm. And I pulled up to their house one day. I was going to visit my homies. Ain't nobody was there. I was about to walk in the house. Mind you, in the hood, they would leave the house unlocked. I was about to walk in the house. I didn't. The other idiots. I was about to walk in the house and I couldn't. And like, I heard the dogs. I was like, damn, what's going on by the dogs? I walk on the side of the house. Bing, 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 bing. Ah, ah. Swarmed by bees. Oh, my. Bees, wasp, everything. I was getting jumped. Oh, my God. Hey, man. I would have passed out. Yeah. <laughs> I got stung by a bee once. That shit hurt. That shit hurt. I was getting... Bro, <laughs> I <laughs> ran... Bro, I ran in the street and was... <laughs> ah! By the time I got to the street and they flew back, the neighbor was like, I ain't never... Se not the neighbor, the mailman. I ain't never seen you move fast. What happened? I said, they got bees! Oh. She said, bees? <laughs> <laughs> the she tried to play you like that. <laughs> Right. I was just like, I'm going to deliver their mail over here. Absolutely. The man, shit. Y'all wouldn't Back be getting no 50s, mail that day. African bees were brought to Brazil and crossbred with their more domesticated European cousins. Oh the idea God. was, if they could combine the two, they could create a bee that was more efficient than the Europeans in tropical climates, while also being less defensive than the African counterparts. But in one of the most consequential f ups no. possible, oh a local God. beekeeper accidentally released 26 swarms of Africanized bees, including queens. But experts said not to worry, that the bees would either die out in the foreign climate or get bred out of existence by the already present European mm. bees. Well, yes, mm. actually no. By the 60s, they uh -huh. made it across the country. By the 80s, they hit Mexico. By the 90s, they were popping up in the US. And today, the Africanized assault has spread throughout America like a rageaholic rash. Oh and here's my the thing with God. playing with bees. You better be prepared for hell. These Africanized bees were way meaner than anything this side of the Atlantic had ever seen. The they were way more aggressive is, how they for digging, And the same I'm honey merchants that were enough to legitimately punk elephants. That's not a joke, by the way. We're doing numbers on unsuspecting people. Elephants are so afraid of people. bees, they you have see? a specific call to warn the herd of their presence. Absolutely not. Farmers have also used the sound of bees to keep elephants away from their fields. Mm, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Hey, hey, if an elephant afraid, can't tell them. Tell me nothing. I'm hey, don't be afraid of no bee. Fuck you. I'm going to download bee sounds when we go to the fucking Thailand <laughs> elephant shit. Back up! <laughs> now, oh now shit, he come, got that too! Bro, it's now, a if sanctuary, they come beat your bro. ass, yeah. if they come beat your fucking oh, I'm ass. A, I'm going to be holding arm and arm with y'all. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> Those are ballers. European bees might send 10 to 20 guard bees after you. The Africanized flying mob will pull up in the hundreds. And where European bees might chase you for uh, a couple feet, the African variety will chase trespassers for a quarter of a mile. Whoa, so you know, that that me. Me. The irony is, African bees have smaller hives. That means these gang flies weaponize a higher percentage of their hive just to go after you. Mm. Add the fact that the very smell of bee venom is like a Batman signal to the rest of the hive, and you realize just how badly that one beekeeper screwed us over. Speaking of venom, you probably know it that really was die one day. Oh! The stingers are barbed and attached to their abdomen, causing attacking bees to literally disembowel themselves. Yep. What you might not know is that stinger will continue pumping venom into you long after the bee has become ah! us. Now that's just doing the most. That's how you get stories of people being chased by vindictive swarms. Oh, I'm not ah! ah! You try to duck the fate by jumping in the water. Nope. They will wait sometimes with fatal what? consequences in 2013 a texas man died after being stung over 1000 times and oh the bee still had enough malice left over to leave his wife and daughter with a hundred apiece it yo i'm bro fuck bees bro yo fuck bees bro uh, pollinators whatever nigga fuck them niggas yo. a thousand yo and then a hundred for the kid and the mama the whole family getting spun on what do we Welcome to the hood. <laughs> the dietary habits of the crash out mascot might have helped create one of the most infamous crash crowds in the air. But not all crash outs are fueled by hate. Some are powered by love. 
recording, Bald Eagles will interlock talons and plummet down towards oh, the yeah. earth, only to separate at the last possible second. What? Because apparently, feathery foreplay means death spiraling in a questionable feathery game of foreplay. chicken. Apparently, it's to test each other's fitness as a possible partner. You know, separate the strong from the strongest. Except it does the opposite when the entangled avians crash land into trees, water, or sometimes straight pavement and take each other out the dating pool. And Bald oh, Eagles mate for life, so where do you even go after your vow renewal turns into a weight that only one of you is conscious for? A study showed that eagles will also death spiral with rivals, so it's really a case of either f me or fight me or just don't waste my time. But that makes even less wow. sense, because at least with a mate, the logic is you're trying to find the strongest, most eligible single to spend the rest of your life with. Handing death a two-for-one BOGO deal because you had beef and literally couldn't let it go is the definition of crashing out. At least when it happens with deer like moose, you know it's really bad luck. They, them voluntarily was under, wait a minute. It's from a crashing from out. At least when it happens. These niggas Angles. was dead ass tussling and froze underwater. Yep. Oh my god. What you think that meat tastes like? Moose meat? Yeah, I've been, I was thinking because you do know people they, eat moose. They eat deer, but do they eat moose? Is it enough uh, moose? Because deer are like a nuisance damn near. You think so? Yeah, so we yeah. can hunt. There's a hunting season for them. There's yeah. enough of them to be hunted. Can yeah. you hunt? legally? Can you legally hunt moose? That's what I'm asking. I think so, but it's like a lot less. You can shoot like a lot less moose than a deer. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You gonna need like a rocket launcher. Them motherfuckers yeah. is big, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot them niggas with you gotta put them down. Oh my god, cause you shoot that motherfucker and, and miss or don't or, or it don't kill him. <laughs> crazy part is, they say once they see you, what's it? You're it's done for you. You're done. Cause don't they run like sixty seven miles an hour? You're or Bro, run, oh, on top of water? You they see that run, one boy. running on top of water? They run, boy. Shit. Legs longer than ours run faster than us. And just it's huge. It's a recipe for disaster. Like, like, huge. <laughs> <laughs> Big as fuck. Bro. Oh, my God. What kind of gun you hunt with that, bro? Because <laughs> you know what kind of gun I really want to see? Mm. I want to see an elephant gun. What kind of bullet that is? That shit gotta be like. It gotta be ginormous. Like in like this wide or something. Yeah, you bro. gotta hit like the kill. And like it's like brain. that whole gotta it gotta push your shoulder out. Yeah. That big like, dislocate that hole in us. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about the With gun. The, yeah, the oh, gun, yeah. gun, the yeah. kickback. Yeah. Yeah. The kickback gotta be crazy. So happens with deer like moose you know it's really bad luck but voluntarily interlocking toes just to die with someone you claim to hate like what's really going on here huh? but that relationship's nowhere near as toxic as the house sparrows it's like what? tweety listen to nba young boy it's a honey badger Damn. with oh. and opt to every other bird but especially their own kind okay what? so the wow. crashing out is caused by the fact that house sparrows are monogamous and mate for life they're also serial cheating air strumpets and 15 percent of sparrow children how you monogamous but cheaters? Oh, I mean, hell. Humans. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Humans. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. are monogamous and mate for life. There are also serial cheating air strumpets, and 15% of sparrow children born aren't even related to the male raising them. Cheating oh, isn't whoa. a foreign concept to birds. Thoughts and prayers out to the penguin that got dogged out, got his cloaca kicked by his wife's boyfriend, begged for her back, got beat again, only to get rejected and bust his ass the third time. Yeah, Thanks. no way he goes out that sad. <laughs> male sparrows that suspect their partner of cheating get their revenge by purposely feeding their children less, bordering on starvation. Oh. The thing is, he has no way of knowing which chicks actually his he only goes by how much time the mother spends away from the nest basically imagine oh, your dad my. stars you within an inch of your life all because your mom spent the equivalent of 10 extra minutes at the grocery store the hell no. girls ain't sweet either the difference is she cheats with better genetic quality or you could say high value males while the male <laughs> cheats to spread his seed as far as physically possible <laughs> except that the female catches on to the cheating she responds by slaughtering his entire family children and all and it's oh my oh. god wow Sounds about right in real life. Yeah. Sounds about right. I mean, shit. Sounds about man. right. Shit. Because, yeah, sounds about right. I can see a dude catching somebody cheating. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to just step away. I'm going to I'm I'm not take care of him. I can see. No, I'm just saying I can see. I'm not saying that's what happens. I'm saying I can see it. And then I see the woman. Oh, I'm going to slash your tires. I'm going to kill the bitch. I'm going to... I can see the... But the, the kids too, though. The cor that's what I'm saying. I can see the correlation in anger levels. I can. I can, yeah. but... Cause that's happened. Yeah, yeah. She went to prison. Went no, to prison. they uh, she herself. Mm. Scientifically yeah. proven that mm. butchering the babies. Cause uh, her. wait, butcher the babies. Yeah. No advantage to the offending female. It's just pure love of the game. <laughs> Cheating's never <laughs> right, but when your crazy. get back gets children buried, you have lost the plot. That's yeah. Yeah, for sure. But, but shorty uh, 
I think the because I, I I heard the story like maybe two weeks ago, two mm. three weeks ago went viral on Twitter, and it's an old news story about how she found her husband. She thought he was cheating or whatever. She mm, the whole family mm-hmm. come to find out he wasn't, mm. and she mm, herself. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, Keep I saw it on people. I saw just, it on just Twitter. Leave. Uh, just leave. Just leave. Like two weeks ago, I saw it on Twitter. Like two weeks ago. Just leave, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that shit terrified me. I was like, oh, don't date nobody. <laughs> just, 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 just leave, bro. Especially since the females most likely to commit baby cancellation are second wives, as in they got with a cheater, what? got with him due to cheating, what? only to wipe out the entire first family. Oh. Also, I just thought about it. She also has no way of knowing which chicks are his. That means she really just life retires any baby sparrow she comes across. Oh. Yeah, that's a crash out of the highest order. And right oh. up there with them has to be this frog. It's a culinary what? crash dummy off the fact that an Argentine-born frog would rather choke to death trying to swallow something physically bigger than they are than just give it up. Scientists oh, have found expired eat? frogs with their stomachs torn open out of pure stubbornness. Bro. It's a gluttonous on, breathing bro. pot of Greek card come to life. Hell Not only no. that, they're terrible swimmers, embarrassingly bad jumpers, what? and yo, they don't even rib it. What kind of fucking frog <laughs> is you? Yeah, That's Can't swim, can't jump, can't rib it. You this just a toad. <laughs> toad. Just existed. Fooled and sold every aspect of being a frog just to moonlight as Jabba the gut. They can even develop <laughs> amphibian corneal lipidosis where they hold the on to that? so much fat, they literally accumulate fat deposits on their eyes that blind them. To be fair, oh it's usually from overfeeding in captivity, but my brother in Christ. Even Nakado Avocado Ugh. put the fork down at some point. Especially wow. since frogs can't vomit, the best this kitchen crash out can do is fully eject their stomachs. to you. Next is a crash out that the majority of the American audience has to sidestep on a daily basis. That's his stomach? He ejected, fully ejected his stomach and is actively cleaning that bitch off. Oh my god. Can we get it off screen? I'm sorry. Which is funny because oh. the Canada goose nearly got caught in an eternal milk cart. You good? <sighs> this is so <sound> okay. Uh. <laughs> that bro, this nigga might. Damn! Go ahead. Yeah, give me this one too. Jesus! <laughs> I ain't even taste this one! That nigga put butters in the gums! That nigga put butters! Bro, I bro. can't fucking see this ass! Eric, open this at the beginning of the video! Bro, bro, I can't see this ass! I'm like, yeah, alright. Yeah, alright. Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute, bro! Damn! Due to overhunting and habitat loss. Oh, oh he's drowning! Wait, what? The goose nearly got put in an eternal milk carton due to overhunting oh. and habitat loss. In fact, we fully thought they were out of stock in the 50s until a small flock was found in Rochester, Minnesota. And with the help of the Migratory Bird Treaty Act in the U.S. and the Migratory Birds Convention Act in Canada, along with conservation efforts, the Canada goose was able to make a comeback. And humanity and geese lived happily ever. Absolutely not. No. Yet a no, cobra no, chicken no. came back with a vengeance. I you called should. the sparrow an airborne honey badger. Nah, nah, nah. nah it's just block coated assault with wings. He's oh the most undeserved arrogance I've ever seen on an animal. Yo, That's why it's like this damn velociraptor has some wildly irrational confidence. They're like family. <laughs> you saw the gorilla. Like, gonna get into hey, it. nigga, back up. You don't see me? It's really what it is. This damn velociraptor has some wildly irrational confidence. Back They're up, like bitch. Family guy. They nearly got canceled, came back, and by God, do they not miss a chance to punish us for it. Even Sully's heroic wow. landing in the Hudson wouldn't have even been needed if a goose didn't try to run a fade with a plane. Just proof that what? you can get yeah. a lot of oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the uh, geese went in the turn in the jet. In the jet. Yeah, yeah. Oh. and that's how that plane crashed. Yeah, crazy, right? Mileage at a false, unearned valor, cause it's a bluff. Geese nest on the ground, so they only really can respond to a threat to minor safety by implementing the honey badger method. By raising hell until you meet someone that takes you there. Add the fact that they've managed to lose their fear of humans and you have a honk happy threat to national security. I've even read reports of them apparently luring chasing dogs into deep water just to attack and harass them until they eventually drown in exhaustion. To be fair, you could just... leash your dog? Oh, also, goose tongue. But yeah, that attitude took a lot. I didn't read body yeah, language, so acting like turned around a goose before, and yeah, you'll probably be fine. Time. So why are geese so mean? Eh, they'd probably be oh dead. Oh my god! Oh my god! At least they're not god. capable of really damaging anything but your pride. Complete opposite of chimpanzees. Look at that! 
nigga's not using no wings, just straight running. Capable up. of really damaging anything but your pride. That is. Complete opposite of uh, you. Ah, you thought I was finished, nigga? Come here. I'll be a top three crash out of nature, cuz you really oh never know what could set this chainsaw with thumbs off. Change your hairstyle for the first time in 10 years. You just lost your face privileges. Push one of your troop mates a little too far. Call it Kaizen the way you about to get Jujutsu jump. Do it. Damn. Barrel roll? Absolutely not. Not in these parts. Chimps and really primates in general have a sense of fairness. Do something they view as unfair? Oh, buddy. You finna find out why they're the prime ministers of unproportional reactions. This man decided to surprise his former pet chimp with a chocolate cake for his birthday. The real surprise was two male chimps getting out and mutilating the man for not serving them a slice first. I'm not uh, gonna list wow. the full extent of his injuries, I have a full video doing that. Just know, the first that. two hospitals denied him oh. entry because they literally thought he was a lost cause. Oh. Monkeys in captivity have also Crazy. been known to mob a member of their own for receiving more food than the others. And when I was eight, a chimp temper tantrum nearly Damn. had me in a keller. Almost had me Damn. walking in the food. And we cannot forget what that is he time. Monkeys flinging in the like that? A campaign Another of dropping monkey. dogs from roofs after oh, one Oh yeah! Them. Like that shit happened earlier this year, right? When they yeah. Or last year when it was... Kept fucking terrorizing town. What he was flinging was another monkey. Swear. Yeah. Some of that's a whole nother monkey. Oh, yeah, Chimp Temper Tantrum nearly had me halfway to Helen Keller. Almost had me rocking the Nick Fury. Bro, damn. We cannot forget that time. <laughs> Monkeys in India went on a campaign of dropping dogs from roofs after one allegedly attacked a baby of their own. Yeah, oh, primates are some God. Hall of Fame crash outs. Question is, what could possibly be more destructive? Well... <laughs> Tigers are easily one of that, the most- Now that jump up is that crazy. That jump is crazy with no warning. The spring. Oh my. Look at them. Just, oh my god. That's Brown Derrick Rose. <laughs> that, just, uh, he was coming for it too, bro. Yeah, well, he that's was coming. Long. That was Kai Lung. Boy, hey. Bro. <laughs> That nigga was coming for everything he Tigers was Tigers are old, easily bro. one of the most vengeful creatures alive, and the moment this striped population control wants you dead, you might as well lease a casket. There's plenty of stories of tigers going from zero to a thousand. In 2007, three teenagers that may or may not have been under the influence taunted 243-pound Tatiana the tiger, reportedly even pelting her with pine cones from a slingshot. Tati cleared a 12-foot mo, oh. severely oh. mauled two of the teens, and killed the third. In 2016, oh. a tiger ripped apart an infamous poacher named Baby. Baby, oh. only four days after his group reportedly shot his mate. In 97, Ooh. a hunter named Vladimir Markov not only shot a tiger, but had the audacity to steal his kill. As a result, the whisker oh. John Wick stalked his cabin, tore anything that smelled like him to shreds, including his mattress and bedding, and apparently even demolished an outhouse Markov had used. As you can guess, the story ended around the same time Vladdy did, once the Siberian assassin was there to greet him at his house. And then oh. there's this. The backstory is that a mother tiger and her cubs had ventured beyond the boundaries of a park and had injured cattle in the process, so rangers went out to capture and relocate the trio. They successfully tranked and removed the cubs, but the mother was nowhere to be found. That was until about right here. The Damn. enraged mother cleared a full-grown elephant and managed to- Oof, oh my god, bruh. Jesus. That I- bro, I shit. Yeah. Uh, the bro, whole dookie inside tan pants. Mutilate the mother. God. God. Damn. Writing it. Oh my! Wait, does he make content? Taking yes. yes, he said it, it got him. Look, it the enraged mother cleared a full-grown elephant and managed to mutilate Clear. the mahout riding it, taking several oh. fingers with her and a few oh. on four. Oh, oh no, it was his hands! Oh. You gotta blur that. You gotta blur oh. that. You have to blur that. Oh. Oh. That was his hands on the screen. Oh. That was his hand. That was. Oh was never seen again. But the most infamous Clear big cat crash out came and, and the wait, Fury wait. on four legs was never seen oh, again. Okay. But the most infamous big cat crash out came in the early 1900s. When a tiger dubbed the man eater a jump of what killed oh, yeah, 436 we people, giving her the highest human body count of any single animal. And it was discovered that the cause was a cripplingly debilitating tooth injury that forced her to go after easier prey. And that's the thing I do wow. want to mention. I know I had fun with the crash out concept, but really all the tiger was ever guilty of doing was what came naturally. And that really goes for every animal on this list. Tatiana wouldn't have had to die and take someone's son with her if they hadn't gone and tested her killer. Travis yep. was an overweight, socially stunted, Xanax-consuming time bomb that some woman decided to keep inside as a pet. Even the whole Elefino mess started with poachers destroying and fragmenting their families and probably giving the pachyderms PTSD. Like, I'll joke around and stuff for comedic effect, but I'm not actually out here judging Look animals by human standards. Because he said something real before he got Chris rocked and left with fresh prints. Talk about the tiger with Chris. <laughs> Fresh Prince. <laughs>
Fingerprints. Because he said something real before he got Chris Rocked and left with Fresh Prince. Talk about the tiger went crazy. That tiger ain't go crazy. That tiger went tiger. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. <laughs> nah, Make sure you drink water. Hug your, hug your mother. There's no church in the wild and no judge in the jungle, so don't expect Break the animals up. to follow either. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Love you video, man.